Welcome to the American Dream, a show that started right here in San Diego, America's finest city, that now spans positive media all across the country, real stories in real neighborhoods. Hi, I'm your host, Craig Sewing, and here's the American Dream. Welcome to the American Dream, a real show, not a reality show. The real estate, the lifestyle, the culture. It's not just about what you're living in, but the community you're gonna live in. High rise, luxury living. People are the vehicle, people are the connection, people are the expansion. Helping folks just like you find your dream home. It just never disappoints. Real stories in real neighborhoods with real experts. The opportunity to achieve our biggest goals and aspirations. It's the American dream. Aloha. Welcome to the Big Island of Hawaii. I'm Eileen Lassert, your host today on Selling Hawaii on American Dream TV. Come on inside and outside. Today, we're at the iconic Mauna Kea Beach Hotel Resort. We're at the Fairways subdivision, and as the name suggests, it's on the world-class golf course here at Mauna Kea. Today, I'm here with Bert Bunk, and he's allowing us to see his listing here in the North Fairways. Bert, what are the best features of this home? Well, obviously the pool behind you. It's an yeah, infinity yeah. pool. And the view of Maui doesn't hurt either. No, beautiful. We have photovoltaic or solar on the roof that uh, provides some power to the home. And then there are four bathrooms in the home that have outdoor showers. And what's the square footage of this home? 3,400 square feet. And a huge lanai besides. Large lanai. Thank you for letting us see the place today. Now, let's leave these mangoes behind and head to the Mauna Kea Seaside Tennis Court. You are going to be in for a treat. Let's go inside and meet the tennis director, Craig. He's been a fixture at this resort for more years than we want to talk about. Aloha and welcome to the Seaside Tennis Club at the Mauna Kea Resort. Craig, how do you set up the game arranging? Again, going with the uh, game arranging, because it is difficult, we have outside locals that we can call and they will come down and we know their levels. And we have all, we have children, we have adults, and of course we do have a lot of older people playing this day. So um, it's nice to have that option and they will come down and play with the guests and that really helps us out. And the guests enjoy meeting the locals and talking about the island and places to go and places to eat and that sort of thing. So it works out really well. Mahalo for joining me today at the Mauna Kea Resort on the Big Island of Hawaii. I'm your host, Eileen Lassert for American Dream TV. Today we're 
in Kailua on the windward side of Oahu. It sits right here on the eastern shore of the island. And we're gonna show you a few things about why we love Kailua, and then we're gonna take you to one of the local breweries. I'm Matt Anasio. And I'm Chelsea Anasio, and we're your hosts for the American Dream TV. So growing up in Kailua, it always used to be this quiet little beach town until social media kind of picked things up, showcasing our beautiful beaches and gorgeous hikes. So now it's been a destination spot for all of tourists and locals on Oahu. Since Kailua has evolved, we've seen a lot of little boutique shops pop up as well as some of the big box stores such as Target and Whole Foods coming to town. But we love the town center here. It's very walkable and there's always fun things to do. Yeah, there's so much to do, whether it be parades, farmers markets, there's so many shops and restaurants, and today we're gonna to check out one of the local breweries, so let's go check it out. All right, we're over here at Lani Kai Brewing Company. They were established in 2015. We're gonna be meeting with Sam Hall, who is the Director of Sales and Marketing here. So come on in, guys, and check it out. Sam, cheers. Thanks so much for having us in. Yeah, of course. Thanks for coming, guys. Yeah, so we know that you guys make awesome beers and even spirits now, uh, but how did it all start? What's the story? Yeah, so um, we actually started in uh, the little alleyway down the way here from us uh, here in Kailua um, as a small tap room. So our owner and CEO, Steve, actually was a home brewer um, and then decided that they wanted to, to take it big time. So. Um, the tap room here, we established that in uh, 2018, but we started things back in 2015 and um, have just been rolling ever since. Started distilling at the end of uh, the pandemic as well, so. Awesome. Yeah, awesome. very new. So what would you say sets you apart from the competition? You know, we really like to focus on emphasizing and supporting our local agriculture. Um, so we make sure that we highlight a local grown ingredient in all of our products. Um, we really like to make sure that um, we're showcasing Hawaii for all of the great things that it can it can be and, and do for us here. So you guys um, are very open about being very sustainable, trying to lower your environmental impact, as well as, like you said, growing local, featuring a local product, and um, yeah. giving back to the community. Totally. What made you guys decide to go that route when designing your business? Yeah, when we first started, um, so Steve and Al, our co-owners, actually were getting their BMA um, and ultimately decided that they wanted to create the most sustainable brewery um, possible. And so our goal is that one day we will be able to create a production facility that is also completely carbon negative, actually. Um, that's something that we're working on right now. Um, but we do make sure that in any way that we can, that we are practicing sustainability. You know, we want to maintain the integrity of our area here. We live in such a beautiful place and we want to respect that. Um, and make sure that we are really amplifying um, all the beauty of Hawaii in the best way that we can. All right, thanks so much for having us. We really appreciate it and we love coming here, so we'll definitely be around. Yeah, absolutely. Thanks guys for coming in. Thank you. Kailua Town is one of the most highly sought after areas in Oahu with beachfront homes going all the way up to $30 million. But don't worry, if you're looking to move to Kailua and make this your lifestyle, there are condos starting as low as $500,000. Thank you guys so much for joining us. We look forward to seeing you on the next episode of American Dream TV. Welcome to hawaiihideout.com here at the cottages at Mauna Olu. Come on in. This beautifully curated home is the perfect place to make memories here in Makaha Valley. A single family home with a three bedroom, two and a half bathroom floor plan and also an accessory dwelling unit with a fully permitted kitchen. The perfect place for extended stays when you want to get away from it all. Perfect island dining options 
and enough seating for your whole family. But the real treasure is actually out back. Come and have a look. When you step outside, you're greeted by Mr. Tiki out back watching the Hawaiian snacks. And you have the perfect opportunity with the jacuzzi, the gazebo, as well as the built-in barbecue pit to be able to enjoy entertaining your family and your friends. Here at Makaha Valley, you get to make the best of memories that you will look back on for many years to come. Making this a part of your legacy is the best way to have a Hawaiian lifestyle. The cottages at Mauna Olu is zoned for legal vacation rentals. What a great way to make memories that'll last forever here in Makaha. As you can tell, we're really big here in Hawaii about spending time with family or ohana. And here at the cottages at Mauna Olu, you can be able to have the best hiking just minutes away from your doorstep, four minute drive to the most gorgeous, beautiful, white pottery sandy beach and enjoy world famous surfing. There's so much to do here in Makaha Valley and today you get to experience it all. Why don't you come on down, e komo mai and enjoy. With soon to come resident amenities, such as a neighboring pool house, also the ability to enjoy the golf course right here in the community and travel around on your golf cart. Why don't you explore the cottages at Mauna Olu today? And in fact, if you're looking for a lot more acreage, we're gonna explore another community inside of this gated opportunity shortly. Follow us. Looking for an executive level retreat for your family, your friends, or maybe your corporation? Welcome to Mauna Olu Estates. Here on this specific luxury property, we have two acres of pristine golf course frontage, amazing curated level entertainment opportunities. Here in the Mauna Olu Estates, you have one acre to two acre properties. The best amazing view of the sunset 365 days of the year. And this specific property, two acres, is right on the golf course. Hope you enjoyed your day in Hawaii here at Mauna Olu, one of Hawaii's hidden gems in Makaha Valley. Don't worry, now you know about it. Come and visit us and enjoy the most beautiful sunset, amazing beach, and always remember to leave the place that you visit better than you found it. Never take anything that's not yours and get out there and live your legacy now with Aloha. So don't forget to look for me, your next Hawaii host for the American Dream. See you next month. We can't wait to share Aloha with you. Welcome to American Dream TV. I'm your host, Baron Brown. Having lived on the Big Island nearly 15 years, one of the things I love most about living in Hawaii is the culture and the food. So what better way than to jump right in and to go visit Manalani's Farm to Table Restaurant and go talk story with the local Hawaiian historian, Uncle Danny. Let's go check it out. Thanks so much for joining us today, Brandon, to talk about uh, your restaurant. Yes, You're one of the home. owners of Napua. I am. Welcome. Welcome to Napua. Uh, it's, it's a beautiful setting, as you guys can see. You know, we're right here on the uh, west side of the Big Island at Mauna Lani, uh, which to me is kind of like the secret on the whole coast, you know? And uh, it's one of my favorite places, even as a kid, to come. So I'm, it's really just in the cards of my whole life to end up in a place like this and in this spot, exactly. Napua started 12 years ago, and there was 30 of us that were trying for the spot. And, um, you know, at the end of an app, like the interview process, you always get that last question. Okay. And I just told them, like, <laughs> look, you have an opportunity to let real Hawaii kind of place itself right in the middle of all of this tourists and everything and, and what everybody's really looking for is genuine Hawaii. Sure. And we were 
we were what, I mean, if you want to find real Hawaii, you wanted us to be here. And I wanted to make sure that they knew that if they asked us to do it, if they gave us permission, that we would really deliver on that. Other than the ambiance, what makes Napua so special? Napua is special because it's, it's a real place. Uh, everybody is looking for a, a real Hawaii, like this feeling, this Hawaii feeling. And sometimes we miss it. And I think wow. here you can get it no matter what. It's just this chance to feel genuine Hawaii. We grow our own food, we do all the things correctly, and we're just real Hawaii. So, I mean, that's what makes us different, I think. That is special. Yeah. It's a place where, like, these guys can't compete with us, you know? Right. It's reality. <laughs> you know? <laughs>the Manawani Resort at the Eva Parker Woods Cottage at the Kala Hui Pua'a Historical Ponds. So Uncle Danny is a locally known Hawaiian historian and also an ambassador for the Manawani Albers Resort, which is just a quick walk up the path here. He's also been called a cultural diplomat. So I understand your job here, Danny, is to talk to the guests about the history of the land and to help preserve the stories and the culture. That's so cool. Well, yes, Baron, I think I got the best job in the world, <laughs> doing things I love and have passion for. So, Uncle Danny, how are you so strongly personally connected to this area? Well, Baron, I first came down to this property way back in 1972 with my Kumu teacher and classmates. And uh, when I first came here and looked at this place, the ancient ponds, the coconut trees, the ocean. I just really made a spiritual connection with this place. And so what makes the historical fish ponds, the Manalani and the surrounding areas so special? Well, Baron, I believe it's the stories of Mo'olelo, it's the history, it's the spirit of place that one can still find here amongst these ancient royal fish ponds. Wow, I'm sure you have lots of stories to tell. Many, many stories to share. <laughs> well, it's been a blessing. Thanks so much for joining us, Danny. You're welcome, Baron. Happy to spend this time with you. Mahalo for watching. I'm your host, Baron Brown with American Dream TV. And next time you're visiting the Big Island, come check out Napua Restaurant and Talk Story with Uncle Danny. No matter where you're at, I hope you're living aloha every day. We'll see you guys next time. Welcome to beautiful Honolulu, Hawaii. Aloha friends, I'm Todd Nagata and welcome to the American Dream Hawaii. This show is about lifestyle, culture and real estate and today we're going to explore the area around one of Hawaii's most famous landmarks, the beautiful, the iconic Diamond Head. So I grew up and I live just a few miles from here. And one of the great things I love about the Diamond Head area is that you have all these cool outdoor activities within minutes of each other. So I love the outdoors, but I also love to eat. Today, I'm gonna to highlight some of the great food in the area. And our first stop is the KCC Farmer's Market. My favorite food event happens every Saturday right across the street from the Diamond Head Creators entrance. This is the KCC Farmer's Market. Let's check it out. You got super fresh island produce from all these local farms, lots of great food stalls, freshly squeezed sugarcane drink, always has a line, or drink some fresh coconut juice with the family. The list goes on and on. One of my favorite spots is a little stand that serves a Hawaiian style lobster roll. Let's go check it out. We're here with renowned chef, John Matsubara, owner of Feast Restaurant. Chef, thanks for having us today. So how did you get started in the food industry? You know, I was in law school and I realized that I didn't want to read and write for the rest of my life. So I came home, I applied for the two best restaurants in Honolulu and I started off as a dishwasher. 
and I worked my way up and then I moved to New York. Nice. And worked at some of the best restaurants in the world. Came back to get married and start a family. A couple weeks ago, you were on the Food Network, featured in Alex vs. America, and you beat Iron Chef Alex on her home turf. Tell us about that experience. Well, you know, at first it was terrifying, but after the first round, all the chefs from Hawaii was a Hawaii episode, and we really got to represent our state, our pristine uh, ingredients that we have here with our farmers and ranchers and fishermen. So it's kind of exciting. Well, let me tell you, you made Hawaii proud. Chef, so what are you gonna make for us today? Well, we're gonna make you our most popular dish, the original Hawaiian-style lobster roll. Awesome, awesome. I'm excited, let's go. Here's your original Hawaiian style lobster roll. Awesome. Looks amazing. Thanks for coming today. Yeah, hey. Thanks for having us, Chef. Hey, if you guys are in the mood for lobster rolls, roll on down to the farmer's market and come see Chef John at Feast. Dude, that lobster roll from Feast was legit. So now let's keep it in Feast mode and head to one of the top plate lunch spots on the island. We're here at the award-winning Pioneer Saloon. Let's take a look inside. Pioneer Saloon was opened in 2009 by owner Nori Sakamoto. Nori-san wanted to open a plate lunch spot featuring Japanese home cooking, the kind that mom makes, with a touch of local flavors. His love for Westerns inspired the rustic decorations and gives the restaurant a unique and cool vibe. We're here with General Manager Maito Tomioka today. Maito, tell me about your delicious food. All right. This is a mochiko chicken. Oh. This is a ribeye steak. Oh, okay. This is a um, garlic ahi steak. Garlic ahi, ooh. Yeah. May I try some yeah, of this? Yeah, you should try okay. it. Mmm. Chou oishi. Chou oishi, Delicious. Yeah. Here's an insider tip. On Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, you can get Shave Ice next door at their sister store, Montserrat Shave Ice. And guess what, guys? Today is Saturday. Maito-san, can we get some shave ice? Let's go. All right. So here we are at Montserrat Shave Ice. And Maito-san, all the syrup here is homemade. Is that correct? Yeah. Yes. Is it difficult to make uh, shave ice? No. You want to try? Uh, yeah, sure. Yeah. You might not find any diamonds around Diamond Head, but you can find mochi balls in your shave ice. Remember, if you're going to eat ice, make sure it's shaved. Big mahalo to Chef John Matsubara at Feast and the good people here at Pioneer Saloon for sharing their Ono food and shave ice with us today. Join us next time and we'll feature more of Hawaii's lifestyle, culture, and real estate. I'm Todd Nagata and this is the American Dream. Come by! and welcome to American Dream TV. I'm your host, Brian Connor, here in beautiful Haile Miley. We're cooking tonight with Yeshua Goodman and his crew at Kiave Outdoor, where they smoke locally sourced food over Kiave wood and pair it with world-class wines. Let's see what they're cooking. I'd like to introduce you to Shua Goodman, founder of Kiave Outdoor. He's a chef, sommelier. What is the Kiave dining experience? It's about slowing down. So life's coming at a million miles an hour and this is a rare opportunity to, to really feast and slow down. And you know, we usually have people come up the mountain at like four o'clock and they're leaving at like 10 o'clock. And we serve some appetizers, we savor bottles of champagne, um, we just commune together and then we sit down for usually four, five, six, seven courses and it's just slow dining and it is exactly what your soul needs. That time in between the courses to really connect is magic. Why did you start Kiavi Outdoor? We started this for fun. This is just what we did with our with our friends. Um, you actually had our very first one <laughs> that, up on the mountain. Great event. And it was my birthday, my buddy's birthday and we just the kids were laughing, the music was playing, uh, the meats were sizzling over the fire and we're opening up Grand Cru Burgundies and it was just heaven. We just had lightning in a bottle. And it was and a great way to just celebrate life and yeah. friendship and love. Yeah. It was fantastic. We have a role in the world to teach people how to feast and how to connect around a table and how to break bread together. And it's a message that the world needs and it's something that 
you know, people get to take into their homes and with their families and in their communities. And it's really powerful. It's a powerful message. It's a simple message. Um, but it's one that we're, we're happy to share with the world. The thing that's great about Hawaii is everything grows here. This place is incredible. You can literally go to the ocean and go grocery shopping or up in the mountain and get some venison or to the local farms. So it's a, it's a blessing to be here. What are you cooking up tonight? Local chicken. This is Simple Roots from up the mountain. Our friends um, raised these. We've got some amazing prime ribeye, uh, pork belly uh, that we smoked from my friend's farm, and then some bread that I'm making here in the coals as well that we're gonna slice open and throw that pork belly in there and do a little banh mi. I'm looking forward to it. Let's go. Can't wait to eat. Let's savor some champagne, <laughs> yeah. huh? Hey. Oh, hey. Yeah. Let's go. Beautiful. Cheers, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> Cheers. Kiave Outdoor is big on promoting the connection between friends, family, and the community. If you're interested in a property where you can live that lifestyle, Max Blair and I would like to introduce you to Twin Rivers Farms, a place to relax, recover, and revive your spirit. This 15-acre off-grid property is located in the Hiku, Maui. This offering will appeal to those who desire ultimate privacy in search of a deeper connection with nature or themselves. This farm has bustling fruit, citrus, and cacao orchards along with manicured grounds. There are star apples, four types of mango, three types of bananas, which produce up to 200 pounds per week, and eight different types of citrus. The farm also has an abundant supply of tropical favorites like avocados, soursop, starfruit, ginger, macadamia, lychee, lilikoi, dry taro, and more. There is also a wide array of highly rare ornamentals, palms, and tropical flowers. My well, brother, thanks for joining us. We pulled heaven down to earth and broke bread together. It's always a pleasure. Thanks for having us up here for a wonderful lifestyle event and beautiful Highly Miley. I'm Brian Connor, host of American Dream TV, and I hope to see you next time with another Maui lifestyle event. Aloha. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's show, produced from America's finest city, but shot in the heart of your neighborhoods. Don't forget positive media when the world really needs it. Follow us on social media at The American Dream TV. See you next time. In the meantime, cheers to your American Dream. American Dream TV is a chance for America to hear from small business owners and big dreamers, local leaders and trendsetters, tastemakers and upshakers, the men and women, young and old, in every ethnicity and different perspective of this country we share. We are The American Dream TV, and together we are changing the world of television. But do you know my name? Notorious, infamous, warning man, dangerous. I'm an army, I'm a legion, I'm a ghost, I'm a heathen.